If you've just tuned in, Capital 100.4 FM, Harad is Habib Radio Kitchen, we're live outside cooking in the gazebo. Do tune in to our Facebook page, Capital 100.4 FM. Chef Kuda is here. And we are making beautiful, varied fruit salads. We started off by making our plate. By the way, take the fruit, the watermelon. This is nasi, parmesan, watermelon, peach, apple, pineapple, grapes, uh, pomegranate, and kiwi. We made a pretty plate using the watermelon itself. Surprise us, and I can see lots of fruit here. What are we making today? Um, today we're going to make some fruit salad. Mm. And as I said, we're going to be we are, pre we are preparing. Let's show now what we're going to do. So today, um, that's the famous fruits, the mm. fruit, uh, going with our vegan, vegetarian theme. Well, can fruit be anything else? Is it, doesn't it fall in the vegetarian? It does, opinion? yeah, that's what I'm saying, that it falls in vegetarian, it falls okay. in vegan, and healthy too. Right, yes. okay, so I can see some apple, I can see some watermelons, Magrepo seed chili in yes. our fruit salad. Definitely. Wow, all so right. We're going to do a, a quick take on a chili fruit salad. Uh, some chili kebabs. Mm -hmm. Chili fruit kebabs. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do first today, we're going to. So tell me about a fruit salad. When typically are we good to make fruit salads? Uh, fruit salad is any time of the year, eh? Mm -hmm. Uh, you actually have to use seasonal fruits. So, like right now. Oh, that looks so juicy. He's just chopped up. The watermelon looks scrumptious and juicy. Quenching. Yeah, so Ooh. what I'm doing here is making a bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, a lot of people see it on TV and people make big bowls. We are just going to make a small bowl today okay. because we don't want to make too much. So, what I'm doing now is boring. Okay. Let me do this here. Alright, so why are you doing that? Because typically, can I shake my watermelon? My VC, you can tell my VC. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, VC, I would, 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 Right. right, so we basically we remove all the, the flesh from the water, watermelon until we're left with the what do you call this? The skin, the or skin the outer, body, the outer layer, the outer layer of the watermelon. Yes, and we're making a plate out of it. Yes, that's okay. it's already our plate. Okay. So now we're going to use first of all apple. Right. How we cut our apple? I don't want the middle part. I'm just using the outer, the outer level. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna peel it. Um, just rough cube. Okay. That. So a lot of people want us on this. Ah, but apple and wood also change our color and everything. So what you can use for change of color for any fruit is either you put some juice, like what I'm gonna do here. Any juice? Yeah, fruit juice will do because it's got the, the citric. Ah. Yes. We also have to go to lemon. So as long as it's fruit juice that has a bit of citrus in it, it yes. will definitely it'll, keep the color. It will definitely keep the color. Wow. So okay. we're going to put these away. Uh, so I loved how we chopped the apple. Instead of cutting all the apple, we only cut out the outer bits of the apple and then you're left with the middle bit. Yes. In sort of like a rectangular prism. Trying to paint a picture for someone who's at home. And you can still eat that, it's still quite a fancy looking little Yes. Right. This is for the people who are preparing. Right, it's susu. It is susu. Then we go to a uh, peach. Oh, I love that. So peaches are clearly in season now. Yes, definitely they are. Peaches, apple, we've got pomegranate, we're going to be using some pomegranate. So what I want to do is, I, I do not want to peel it because what I'm going for is uh, a rustic fruit salad oh. whereby we want all the roughage that is given by the skins. All right. So I never know how to pick the peaches. How do you know that this peach is in season? That's what I call it out. It's going to be juicy and it's sweet. How do you pick your fruit? Always when you pick a, a peach, it mustn't be 
mushy or mushy. It should be a bit firm, but yet you can squeeze it a bit to feel that as if you can feel this, yeah? It's a bit hard. Oh, right. Yeah, so but it's got a bit of softness. Too. Slightly. Slightly, yes. It's got some slight softness. All right. So there, now we've got two fruits in there. And already the color is coming out already nicely. We're, we're not going to use all our fruits in it, okay? okay. But we've got some grapes. Remember, anything you use, first wash all your fruits. Yes, we've got Corona. That's because we call it 19. Yeah, yet quarter. Yet quarter. A lot of people don't understand that anything you do, even if you buy from uh, the best reputable uh, fruit shop or veg shop, always wash your fruits and veg before use. Yes. And also because some of these fruit and veg bases actually polish your fruits as well. Yes. So you want to get that wax off. Definitely, definitely. So there we go. Wow. I can tell you now the fruit salad, as you can see, is already looking nice and colorful. Lots of shape. You can see the green from the apple. The grape is coming in with a deep red maroon color. And the peach, of course, with a nice um, crispy orangey. Yeah, it's good orange. You have a mandarin color. So what I'm going to do is with my, the remainder of the water in it, I'm just going to cut it down like that. Okay. Yes. So a lot of people who want to pick up my, my, the seed. The seed out. I just, well, I, I, I just don't want to use that part now. So what I do, did, as you can see, yeah, yeah, keep it. So it's actually easy to get all the, what is, what do you call this part of it? Let's call it pulp. The core. The core. Oh, yes. Here we go. It's actually easy to get the succulent core of the watermelon out of the watermelon without having to eat through like you normally do. Definitely. Literally get a knife or a spoon and scoop it out. Scoop it out. Or yes. slice through it. I yes. love that. Okay. Yes. So that's yeah. that's I don't know what I Oh, that's one of my favorites. Kiwi. That's yes. one of my favorite foods. This year we I have love kiwi. kiwis. Like if I can eat them all day, I will eat them. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a quick peel. Yes. As far as you know, is it easy to grow a kiwi tree in uh, Tell you the truth, I haven't seen anyone with a kiwi fruit right? tree in the garden. Right. I think because white kiwi, I think, isn't it ex uh, exotic to us? Yeah. But half these things are exotic to us. Uh, and we, we have what find it. Yes. So Fair there we go. Oh. That looks so pretty and colorful. So we're gonna show them just wow. now. Um there we go. So now one more thing. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is roll my Pomegranate. Okay, why do we do that? Because I want to use the juice in the pomegranate first. Okay. Oh wow, go. and it's actually juicing. Yeah. So if you roll it, putting pressure on the pomegranate, it actually oozes out some juice and we use it. What do we use that for? For coloring? It's not coloring, it's actually for the flavor. We want flavor? Yes, the pomegranate flavor. Oh, mm. Then, last but not least. Yes. 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 As black people, we don't know what we have, or as Zimbabweans, we don't know what we have in our garden. Right. I still remember growing up, and next door there was this tree, and it was shut there because we didn't know what it was. Mm. Then when I grew to know what it is, now. Yes. So, so look how salad. delicious that looks, nice and colorful. And again, I'm all about the texture in my food. Every week, I think that's the one word you will know for It's texture in your food. It's the color. Look at that. Yeah. I love that. Then as you can see the juices underneath. Uh hopefully you can see yes. those juices now. When you serve now, we're gonna put all those juices, they will have that flavor. Mm. But that's a musky test. Oh wow, can it taste that now we have basketball? I love that. So we've got grapes in there, pomegranate, watermelons, kiwi, peaches and apples. Wow. So I want you to all are in season. Yes, all are in season. So I want you to taste that, then we're going to convert what's left into something different. Mm. I did my lamb in the chat. Nice and juicy. 
Mind of Chato Jesus, I am satisfied that is it, is it, is it, is it, not tapir. So, this is the new take, what, we, what I've come up and said. Okay. All those who drink beer love fruit, don't have fruit. So, this is really good. Give the fruit a kick. So I just like all my food spicy. Am I a bad person? I, and I don't take alcohol, but I love chili. Like everything I eat, don't be it. You, you don't take chili, you don't take alcohol, but you No, I don't take alcohol at all. But miri piri matira and no eater. They are in yama. But they are in meram dumu. They are in that meram dumu too. Miri piri. Sure. Mm. There you go. Then I'm gonna use some of those same juices. Pour them in there. Chili fruit salad. Right. So on top of the kiwi, the peaches, the watermelon, the apple, and the grapes, and the pomegranate and the pomegranate juice, we've added some chili in there. I I remember this is a one the chili one, which is got a punch and a kick. There you go. There you go. It's got that sweetness. It's got that power of the chilies. Now, I love chilies, but I can tell you, if you don't love chilies, you're going to die. <laughs> it gives you that kick. Because it is hot. Yeah. Well, also, the type of chili I've used. Um, I grow chilies uh, at my farm, so. So you grow those ones? Yeah. My goodness. Actually, I to But if you want to make it a bit more subtle, top it up in there, mix it up. Can I mix it with my spoon? Yeah, what's all It'll be a nice, uh, it'll be. Um, but I actually love that. I tell you, the chili was unexpected. My heart is burning, and I'm sure you can hear it in my voice that I'm struggling. No, but you, it's you, delicious. Your voice is back now. It's back. It is delicious. Wow. Yeah. So now it'll be more. It won't be that strong. The chili is now being diluted and being absorbed with all those juices and stuff. So it's, it's just going to be. Now it'll give you that. It should give you that. It's a slight kick. So is money. There's no side kick. It's too strong. There's no such thing as slide cake. But it's delicious. I love it. I love it. Completely unexpected, but I love it. Wow. Yeah. So how long does this last? Um, before it becomes unattractive or contaminated or whatever. How long can you keep this for? Usually, if it's refrigerated, I would say maximum is 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, maximum is 24 hours. Anything thereafter, I don't recommend. I don't recommend. Okay. Wow, yeah. This is really good. I love this. Daddy gets it out. Imagine, imagine, you did a guerrero in Miri Piri. I said, Look, I can say. How do you come up with this? Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, that chili is coming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you play with it. If you will enjoy it, someone else will enjoy it. Right. Yeah. This is really good. All right, so what are we making now? Now we're going to change up, going to making a kebab. There we go. Just going to make a few kebabs. And, uh, I'm actually looking for the chilies. There you go. Up and down, what you done? Did you go out? Did you go out? I see you. Did you know you buy? That never come to show and wish that. See, yeah, no more, no more, so soon. And in Jimmy, I'm a woman. Oh, mom, 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 good, 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 so, to peel this, usually, I don't know, but no one, uh, but it's a problem. Sit it up, sit it down. Mm -hmm. Again. So what I'm doing now, let me use this, my great knife. I am not going to cut close. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to cut close. I do not want the brown stuff. The brown stuff. So we're cutting a pineapple now. Yes. A pineapple, my dear, and it has a chicken I don't know what I'm saying. There you go. So you can see now. Wow, yeah. It's nice and clean. Just clean it up a bit more. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna cut it into cubes. 
Remember, it's like a cock again, and not champion as telecom, it's kind of hard. We don't want to use that cock again. Yeah. So we cut around the cork. Yes. So we basically took our pineapple, cut out the scaly outside by cutting as close as well, not very close, but as close as possible to the outer core, mm -hmm. so that we still have a lot of the flesh left inside. Right? And then after that, we are cubing the pineapple, leaving the core. And then we've cubed it. So we're looking yeah. at our pineapple, watermelon, and of course our grapes. Yes, we need to put one more item in there. Okay. The fruit cargo guy. I love kiwis. Kiwis, kiwis for me. Make it happen. Oh, they do kiwis, lychees. I love pears are my fruit. Watermelons are my fruit. Grapes. I think everything here. Yeah. It's pretty much my fruit except pineapple and peaches because chirunguri and the rat. Oh, What is it? Oh, that's hot Heartburn. Oh, that's heartburn. Yes, that's what it is. Tiba tiba. Oops, oops, oops. This is a tissue here. But, and which is funny because we will patch you know, 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 so you you can get what do we call these the skewers? So you can get the skewers yeah. from any supermarket, right? Yeah, definitely. You just find size your ruler, yeah. probably yeah. the long one or the shorter one, depending on. Well, the with fruit. with fruits, right? As you can see, mm -hmm. the the medium one, it, it's it's better. better. It's better. Yeah. Then usually when I'm doing Ooh. something for for a wedding mm -hmm. or a corporate function. All you're gonna do is let's just put two or three of those. Okay. Yeah. So normally my skewer are like what part of dessert? Yes, the fruit fruit kebabs are a dessert. Okay. Instead of you doing a fruit salad, you can do this one. Mm. Mm. Love this. So typically fruit should always be served as part of dessert. Yes. So if we wanted to accompany our fruit salad with something, what could we add to it? I know ice cream, but you want to put us ice cream or no further fresh cream. Yes, usually you want other fundraisers, but um, you can just use uh, generally. I I would say just just go for food on their own. Food on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Look how pretty that looks, and what he's taken is a tomato, a green tomato, probably because it's firm and deep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Than getting a, a ripe one, you know, so it's a so butter manjima. I'm using like my, my peach slices. Yeah. Because it's easier when you're doing kebabs. Right. Or even one of the tinned food. Right. Okay, now we won't go to the Yeah. Too much. I'm, I'm definitely making a few more. Okay. Yeah. So you see, with peach slices, you don't need to then cut it. Right. It's nice and juicy. You put, you can, you can vary it. You can put two, two items. You can put three items right. depending on, on the size of, of the kebabs you want to make. Love them. Look yeah. how creative and fun that looks. So it's cost effective. Generally, how much do you think to buy this? How much are we looking to spend? With this yeah, I use it. This one here, with all the foods I've got, if I remember well, it cost us basically about four hundred? Okay. Four hundred party yes but guess yeah. what but it will go along because it we, does yes. we have a lot of pineapple to go you still have lots of grape i yeah. love that look how pretty the kebab is looking the kebab stand yeah. a fruit kebab stand uh, that has pineapple watermelon grape peach depending on what you can afford to buy what you are what's in season definitely buy your skewers and go buy it. there you go yes. any fruit can do as long as it's in season yeah, definitely. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that looks beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, so as you can see now, I've got a one with apple. Uh, putting a bit of watermelon. Let me try the one with the grape. Uh, gonna get my peach with. Oh, this is really chicken. heavy for this poor guy. Yeah. There you go. Let me eat that one. There you go. This one, yeah, you can put it with your. Juice. Yes, it's mm -hmm. you stay here. Fruit salad. That's a most mostly it's a deconstructed fruit salad. It's a kebab. This is delicious. I love this. I just wonder what you're getting. 
Don't put it desert. You usually, it's hey, sound. When you hit it, it's going to give you a hollow sound. Okay. Yes. So hollow is what you want. Hollow is what you want. Okay. You can't tell by looking at it. Jaro time, if you know it, you've got to hit it. Uh, I usually, I then, you know when you get Jaro, but you have to be used to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plus also. Uh, just go with hitting it. If it's hollow, you know it's a good man. Yes. It's, 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 Take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known And we'll chase the night Race all of these 